Now, you might remember Stephen Wiltshire. Back in the 80s, he created a storm when a BBC documentary revealed his amazing talent for producing works of art from memory. All the more amazing because Stephen is autistic. Well, nearly 20 years on, he's opened his own gallery in London. Carthy Nana Seagram has been to meet him. What really strikes you about all of Stephen Wiltshire's drawings is that they are so detailed and accurate, even the ones that he did when he was eight. Yeah, that's my gallery. So this is um, the earlier drawings um, when I was age of uh, eight or nine years old. That's the first one of them um, done at Queen's Mill School, Nelson's Column by Memory. Stephen is an autistic savant with incredible art skills. He can look at a building and then draw it from memory and has a particular fascination with America. I like um, the New York, New York American cars and very fast traffic busy and the rush hour and the skyscrapers and I uh, like the New York yellow cabs. These were done in 1992. Stephen hasn't been back to New York for 14 years but he drew these from memory last month which explains why the Twin Towers are still in his Manhattan skyline drawing. Do you draw every single day? Uh, in a, since 1987. I used to Stephen's work make, has been recorded and published well, since childhood and his talent made him an 80s TV star in America and here. What a brilliant Such artist. Such incredible talent. Stephen is now 32. His talent has advanced with his age. We showed him the Duke of York statue for two minutes today and he sketched this picture in under 10 minutes from memory. Are you happy with that? Yeah, very happy with that. It's a nice, nice, quick, quick sketchy drawing for fun. Stephen has just opened a gallery in the Royal Opera Arcade. When people come in, what do they say to you? Yeah, they said to me, you're a good, good artist. So it was the, I was a genius. They said to me, I was a genius. He's developed such a wonderful skill on it. I think he must have, you know, just there's so much more still to come, I should think. Because I teach autistic children, I find that an intriguing side to it because a lot of them are in their own worlds. And to be able to live in his world, which he did when he was younger, so he could get rid of all outside influences, and then be able to produce that from memory shows that these children are actually very talented, but we have to find a way in to let it out. Stephen sells his work from just £35, but his special commissions can go for tens of thousands. Opening this gallery allows him not just to communicate through his art, but also now to share his passion with the world. Carthy Nyana Seagram, BBC London News. Extraordinary.